So in this one, we're going to create the following. 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial times x to the first plus 1 over 2 factorial times x to the second plus 1 over 3 factorial times x to the third plus dot dot dot. We want to write this in sigma form. So stay there until the end to see it all, but let's break this down. So first of all, for some reason here we have a 1 that appears very different from the other terms because the 1 does not contain an x. So that means we have to somehow force an x right here, right, into this first term. So how can we do that? Well, we can do that by rewriting as follows, just right here, x to the 0, because that's equivalent to 1, and then in the bottom put 0 factorial, because that's also equal to 1. So it's like 1 over 1, which is 1. But now, with this particular form of it fits better into the pattern, because you have an x present. And then the other ones you can copy, so it becomes like x to the positive first over 1 factorial, right, plus x squared here over 2 factorial. And notice something important, I hope you see it by now, and it's going to be x cubed over 3 factorial, okay, and then plus dot, dot, dot. So notice here that something happens, which is all of the exponents and the bottoms are the same. So this is 0 and this is 0. This is 1 and this is 1. This is 2 and this is 2. This is 3 and this is 3 right here. We have to make that work for us. So specifically what really counts is observing this right here, that this is 0 in that position. Because, for example, when you use a variable in our sigma, for example, k will start, start is starting at 0. The fact that we have an ellipsis here, that tells us something important. It tells us that the pattern continues, which means the upper limit on the sigma would be positive infinity. So we're going to end up with the following then in terms of sigma. So you write down the sigma symbol, this Greek letter, that's all it is after all. So then at the bottom, you put this observation from here, right, that k is equal to 0. So k equals 0, is your observation at the bottom. The fact that you have infinity comes up here as infinity. And now you'll work through this very carefully. So focus on one of these, say, terms, like this term right here. Just one of them. It doesn't matter which one too much. So notice that, first of all, x is present in every single term. So we know it has to be in a sigma form. And it doesn't change. It's always just x. Now look, this is a 2 in the denominator and a 2 in the exponent. Whatever they are, they have to match. 3 and 3, 1 and 1, 0 and 0. And notice that k goes from 0 towards basically infinity. So that means on the bottom, you're going to put this. You're going to put whatever k is, so k. And the k always gets a, what's constant, of course, is what? The factorial symbol right here, right? A little exclamation mark occurs everywhere. So you have to put that there also. And now, again, the exponent is the same as the bottom numbers. You have to put k up here for that reason. Notice that the, it's 0 up there, right? This is, again, this is a 1, this is a 2, this is a 3. The exponents don't have the factorial symbol. So when you write your sigma notation in this form right here, just put k, no factorial. And this is how you can break the process down and think about it and then form the correct expression in terms of sigma. Please leave a like.